Hello, I'm Elisa. And I'm Michael, and we're from Arch Enemy, and we are playing De Val de Kval. Beer or wine? Well, we might have different opinions. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm straight edge and I don't drink alcohol, so neither. <laughs> You know, I can't choose, you know, I, you know, for sometimes I like to drink beer and sometimes I like to drink wine. <laughs> I like both. Do I have to pick one? Mmm. I pick beer. Instagram. 100%. I, I can't get into Twitter, I don't know. It's like I, my attention span doesn't allow me to enjoy it. I, I, I don't get it. I try to use it, but I just don't get it. But Instagram, that's hours of entertainment right there. <laughs> Um, well, Twitter was before Instagram, right? Yeah, yeah, I like Twitter. I use Twitter. You're just trying to be different. I want to be different. <laughs> you know, Twitter is a bit more intellectual now. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, as long as it's not Facebook, it's all good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like Facebook at all? I don't use Facebook. Um, well, I use it for like the band, yeah. you know, because yeah. that's a good place to get information, but I just, that's too much. For me, that's I don't want to know about people that much. Like I, I, I have no interest in using it for a personal reason. But in terms of for businesses and bands, I see how it's useful. Okay. Yeah. yeah, these are really these are definitely Val Kval. <laughs> for me, it's an easy one. Do you know which one I would pick? Yeah, you pick the outro show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, I mean, I like both. You know, it's, uh, people ask us this before, you know, and then I always. Choice because indoor shows have certain energy. You got a thousand or a couple of thousand people in a room. There's just a lot of energy in that room, and uh, it's contained, you know. And it's, uh, but when you play big, cool outdoor shows as well, it's also a lot of fun. It can be very magical. It can also rain. It can also be very windy. So you know you're subjected to the uh, elements a bit more. I like both. I guess. We're very good. We're very good at playing um, outdoor shows, I think. And our new album was shot outdoors. So our live album, fuck. Okay. So yeah, I'll choose outdoor shows as well. We can agree on one thing. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you prefer outdoor shows? Um, just from like a logistic standpoint, as a singer, I prefer outdoor shows because if people are smoking, I'm not stuck in a chamber of secondhand smoke. Um, usually the wind actually makes for like cleaner air to breathe in um, and I, I, I don't have to be like as sweaty, I can cool off a little bit in the wind. Usually it makes for really nice live pictures, the photographers in the photo pit have this natural lighting so we get really great live photos out of it. Um, also in terms of sound. It's less this, sweaty. Huh? It's less sweaty as well. Yeah, yeah, it's less yeah. sweaty. Yeah. In terms of sound, we don't have the sound from the PA bouncing all over the place, so I can actually control the stage volume and hear myself a little bit better at outdoor shows. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna have opposite answers on this. I think I would pick Maiden and he would pick Priest. I think, that's what I think. <laughs> um, both bands are, you know, complete, like, uh, the complete package, you know, it's like, uh, you know, very impressive careers, a lot of huge discographies, both hugely influential pillar stones of the metal community and the metal scene. Um, I love both, you know, it's very difficult. If I pick one, it would probably be Judas Priest, yes. Um, I mean, I like Judas Priest too, and, and I agree with what he said, but Maiden, for me, I get asked the question a lot of like, who inspired me, and I never know how to answer it because I never actually like sat down and was like, I'm gonna be a metal star like this band or that, like I never did that, you know, I just did what I wanted to do and so far it's working out pretty well. <laughs> but um, but I really am always impressed with the live show that Iron Maiden puts on and I think that Bruce Dickinson is an amazing front man and I really appreciate the level of entertainment that he puts into every show. So he's not just delivering the songs and telling you the stories of the lyrics and singing really well, but he's like a pure entertainer, and uh, that's something I, I really appreciate. So, and actually, the first time I saw Iron Maiden, I bought the ticket actually more than anything to go see the support band, which was Arch Enemy. <laughs> so, 
and and so anyways i guess i stuck around to watch maiden and and it was obviously worth it so yeah these are impossible questions every musician must hate these questions right um <laughs> i think if these things are debated in in the rock bars across the world since 30 years or 40 years i think it's very difficult um for me, Ozzy with Sabbath, that is like so the first ten years, whatever those other, you know, you can't deny that. You can, uh, that's just an incredible uh, body of work, and that's what um, uh, like a lot of what we're doing is, is built on that foundation. You know, um, Ronnie came in from other bands like Rainbow and stuff like that, and he, he they also. He, you know, refreshed the Black Sabbath concept and, and it made some incredible things, but it was a shorter period of time. Two albums and a live album, I believe. And it's just a shorter period of time, but obviously hugely impressive. And I like that, I love those records, you know, Heaven and Hell and Mob Rules are incredible albums. But that, that's very difficult, but I have to go with Ozzy, even though, you know, technically speaking, Ronnie James is the better singer and so on. Yeah, I was. What I was gonna say is, I think in terms of like body of work and actual songs, I would have to go with the Aussie era. But in terms of being a vocalist and admiring vocal ability, it would have to be Dio. Okay. Yeah. Uh, kill them all. I was gonna Absolutely. say kill them all. Yeah, it's. You know, that was um, it was the first one I heard, and it just blew my face off. I think that was the first one I heard also. Actually, yeah. I was in high school. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, that album is just pure heavy metal energy, great riffs, and um, it's got this uh, useful energy. And, and uh, I still love that record. You know, I still play it. I have it. I have like five copies of vinyl, like the original Japanese pressing, the U.S. original U.S. pressing, the original European pressing. You know, I'm just a bit of a freak like that. That's one. That's one of my favorite albums of all time. Yeah. So it for me, stand. that's indie. I love the Black album. It's great as well. So, but that's what they were going to go into more of a rock direction. The different, still very good though, but you know, yeah. can't go wrong with Kill More. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't, it doesn't uh, go bad, you know, like it, stay, like with, it withstands the test of time. Like you can always put it on and listen to it and it doesn't sound outdated or, or you know, channeled into one particular time period. It's just timeless. Okay. They still play a lot of those songs live, right? So. So uh, a good, it's like a perfect, for me it's one of those perfect debut albums, you know, which is really cool. Oh, Star Wars, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, um, as many people are, <laughs> that's not really unique. But yeah, I, I, uh, I saw the first one in the cinema when I was a very young kid, my mom took me, and um, yeah, I was just always really impressed with uh, Darth Vader and the Stormtroopers and their evil empire. I thought that was really cool. And I still like that, you know, it's very fascinating. That's why he's the most popular character of the whole Star Wars saga is Darth Vader, right? The dark side is appealing. I hate to say it, but I've never seen Star Wars. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I know there's... Cut. Cut. So, I mean, yeah, I've never, okay. I've, I've never seen any of them. I have, like, very little interest in seeing it. I don't know. I mean, I know it's, like, icons of, of pop culture. Uh, that's all I know. I know there's the cute little bear things. I was in the third one, right? I like those guys. Are they the dark side or the light side? They're the in between. They're not on the inside. I think oh, they're just uh, they're Ewoks, neutral. right? They're just cute. Okay. Yeah. Well, I appreciate them. Yeah. <laughs>